Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well yesterday we downloaded, installed and took a look through the uh, Divi 4 theme here which is great. Today let's have a bit of fun. Let's see how quickly we can put a put together a little one page website. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, well first thing I want to do, let's add an, a logo to our site to give you a bit of identity. I'm going to go down to Divi, Theme Options. And under the General tab you'll see Logo. So let's upload a logo. I'm simply going to drag it and drop it in here. There we go. Let's save the changes and see if it's plopped it in there. We may might need to make some adjust adjustments. Let's just refresh. There it is. There's a new logo right there. Fantastic. Okay, so well, let's create a page. It's going to go down to pages. I'm going to hit add new. I'll just give it a title of one page. And what we'll do, we'll make a one page scrolling site. I want to use the Divi Builder, so I'm going to click that. Just for fun, let's use a pre made layout. Hit the browse layouts, and by default, Divi comes with, well, 140 layout packs right here. I'm not going to look through them all. Let's say, let's go for some technology perhaps. And let's just choose one of these. Let's use this one, IT services. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on this landing page here and we'll have a look at the live demo. Just hit the live demo button. It'll open in a new tab and this is what we're going to get. Yeah, I think that's going to work fine for me. So I'll just close that out, live demo. I'll say use this layout. Now it's loaded, it's popped up here and it's loaded onto our page. You can see we've got our logo, we've got all this nice content here. Of course if you want to edit the content, you've got the Divi Builder enabled. Just click on anything. And you can put in your own text obviously. Same with links and buttons. And we'll be doing a little more linking and buttoning when we create our menu in a minute. Like I say, any of these you can just go in and put in your own text. They've got lorem ips in there. You can go into the, obviously the images as well and just change your images. Very easy. Just trash theirs and add your own. Some of these images are pretty good. They're stock and they're free to use. So now we've got our page, what do we want to do with it? Well, we need to create a menu at the top because I want to make this a one, one page scrolling menu. So I need to create a menu that will scroll down. We'll have a home page that perhaps goes to the top here. I want a link that get the free quote to our contact form. Learn more can be about us. Live chat, well, to actually use that we probably have to install some live chat pr plugin. There's a lot of free ones out there. So let's make this happen. First thing I want to do is create the menu. So let's say we've got a home. And we'll say this is the about section or services section. I'm going to call it the about. We'll call this the mission. Testimonials. And contact. So to make this happen, we're going to use a little bit of custom uh, CSS IDs here so we can link our menu to these sections so they'll scroll down. So we're going to call this contact. And I actually want it to stop about here so you've still got your live chat services and get a free quote. So on this little section right here, 
going to go into the cog going to go to advanced CSS ID and classes CSS ID not class we'll call this contact I'll have to try and remember what I call these for when I create my menu so this is contact this right here I want it to stop right there so we'll call this testimonials advanced CSS ID and classes ID save that up to the top here what's the next one it was mission wasn't it here we are mission top of this section this is a custom section that's why that's orange but again go to the cog where we want it to land advanced CSS ID in classes I'll call this one ID of mission if you're not sure what I'm doing here it'll all become apparent in a minute we're giving these IDs mission contact etc so we can create a menu that goes down to them and let's call this one let's have this one stop here don't really need that there we'll call this about advanced CSS ID and classes about call it whatever you like I'm just calling these sections what they are so I can try and remember them in a minute when I'm doing my menu and of course this is the top of the page so let's publish this page hit publish once saved let's just exit the visual builder and here's our page we've seen it I'm not going to go too far down there now what I need to do is create a menu so let's go to our dashboard here we'll go to appearance menus and I need to create a menu so we'll give it a name I'll just call it top or main whatever you want to call it doesn't matter create menu now we've got our menu created I'm going to use custom links to link to all the sections on that page so I've just clicked on custom links URL first one I'm just going to put a hashtag in there what that'll do is just go to the top of the page so I'm going to use this for the home because that'll take it to the top of the page simply add it to the menu I'm going to go to custom links again next one was our about section we called it about so it's hashtag about that was the CSS ID we gave it just the about just put a hashtag in front of it so it can link to it and we'll call this about us add to the menu let's do another one the next one I believe was mission I think hashtag mission again we call we give it an ID of mission so we just need to put a hashtag in front of that ID and that's what it's going to say in the menu mission that's fine I think the next one was testimonials so it'll be hashtag testimonials if I spell it right and you've got to spell it right you've got to spell it the same way as your ID you gave it or it will not work and last but not least was contact wasn't it so hashtag contact and that's hashtag not three there we go and contact us okay so that should do our little sections there let's save the menu and to actually apply this menu to the top of our page we need to go to our theme customizer so if we just go down to Divi I'm going to go down to menus menu locations primary menu this is our primary menu up here so we need to select the menu we just made which was called top there we go home about mission testimonials contact us fantastic and the only other thing I really want to do while we're in here 
is set the home page and we need to set the home page of that page we just created called one page let's go back back again down home page settings static page so we don't want it to be our latest post which is that there which is the generic default first post select the page that we want it was called one page there we go hit the publish button and that's pretty much it if we go back to our page that we created now and I'm just going to refresh you'll see the menu at the top change home about us mission testimonials and contact us let's see if that's worked well home it's going to stay at the top here so that's fine about us scroll down to that about us section where we gave it the about ID mission gone down to the mission section testimonials testimonial section contact us it's gone back to our contact page okay well let's just go back up to the top and get a free quote let's enable our visual builder at the moment these don't go anywhere they look very nice once it's enabled Let's make that get a free quote go somewhere. So if we hover over it, let's have a look. See, here it is, the dark ones for the actual module. If I give it the CSS ID or the link to the contact form to get a free free quote, I'm on the content. I'm going to hit link. I'm simply, it's got a hashtag in there. I'm going to put hashtag contact. And that should now go down to the contact form when anybody clicks on it. I'm just going to do a couple here just for demonstration. Learn more. Let's say we want that to go to the about section, perhaps. Let's just hit the link. Hashtag about. And that should now go to the about section or wherever it is you, you'd like to take them. Let's just save that. Now then, if I scroll on down, I'm not going to do any more editing. Like I say, it's really easy. Just click on what you want to ed edit, change the text, simple as that. Go on all the way down. Now our form here, form's not much good unless it's going or being sent to where you want it to send to. So if we just go to the module, that's for the row. Dark one's for the module. Click on the module. on the content tab you can change anything you want here obviously but I'm just going to leave it as it is scroll down a little bit let's go to email that was elements let's go to email this is where you need to put in the email address that you want it to be sent to so info at mysite.com whatever your email address is that's where you want to put it in there and it will send this form to that email address now I clicked on elements by mistake there but at the moment we don't have a capture if you wanted to add a capture to save spam you could just click that to on so let's just save this save the page changes exit the visual builder and here we are at the top of our page now we've tried those let's make sure get a free quote that should go to our contact form there we go and that's taking us down to the contact page let's go back home learn more that's fine and like I say we put in our email address well I guess I could just hit contact so whenever anybody fills out this form and sends it it should come to you so there is how To build a one page scrolling website in about 15 minutes using the new Divi 4 theme. Absolutely awesome. Well done, Divi, you've done it again. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.